Hi, so I've got all my stuff together. I just wanted to show you a few more things. So we talked about different kind of whales just a little bit ago. This is a humpback whale. And a humpback whale uses its big mouth, it opens it up wide, and it chases fish to the top of the water. It, see its wide open mouth? And then it catches its mouth like a big cup. And then it swallows. Whales like this eat shrimp and small little fish. That's what they like. Then we also saw pictures of orca whales. They were the ones with the white on them, like this. These guys have teeth. They've got sharp teeth. They like to eat little seals and otters and fish. That's what they eat. A little bit different. A little bit different method. They hunt, they scoop and swallow. So I'm going to show you some pictures of the different kinds of teeth before we start our project because I think it's amazing. I think it's amazing. Oop. So the whale here, the big humpback whale, look at his teeth. It almost looks like a rake that your parents would use on the grass. Look at that. It helps hold all the little tiny fishes in. And then, do you see the teeth here? That is our orca's teeth, our orca. And he uses those teeth to capture his prey, the orca whale. So our project today, we're gonna be making a whale in the ocean. It's a little puppet that you guys can play with. So here he is, he's under the water, and then he breaches and he blows out the air that he's been storing and gets in some new air. That's what that is right there, his spout, his spout. So you are gonna look for your blue paper plate, which has a squiggly line on back, and your whale. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna grab our, oh, excuse me, we're not. I forgot something. I forgot our name tag. Let's practice our name. Here we go, Mrs. Bose is gonna work really hard. Go very slowly and follow the lines. Line down, there's my M, Mrs. How nice and slow I go so that I can work on trying to control my hand. Those are such fine movements. Mrs. B or Mrs. Bose. There you go. Now, I've got that done. Now, let's cut out our paper plate. This material is a little bit stiffer than normal. You're gonna have to work a little bit harder, but I know you can do it. You've gotten so big. So let's look at our our scissors, let's put our thumb in the small hole, our fingers in the big hole, and our thumb stays up, right? Our thumb stays up. So I'm gonna start right on this line right here, and I'm gonna start cutting. And I'm gonna do my best to stay on that line. Here we go. I'm moving my plate down and around. These are going to be the waves that are around my whale. And I cut it. So I'm gonna have my plate with two parts. Do you guys see that? My waves. Next, let's cut out our whale. Let's cut it out. Now, if you notice here, I did my best to go around the spout, but it's not totally cut out. If you guys want a challenge, I would like to see you do your best. See how there's a line around that? Here we go. Mrs. Bose is gonna start here on its little mouth area, and I'm gonna work my way up and around. I'm going very slowly, putting my blade on the line before I snip. Right? And I take little tiny alligator bites. 
pretend that my scissors are an alligator and I take little tiny snips. Now, I'm just gonna get rid of this because it's in my way. So I snipped it all the way through. And now I can come here. This is gonna take very small, little tiny snips. See how Mrs. Bose is only using the front part of her scissors right now? And I'm gonna turn very slowly and carefully until I come to where the lines meet. And now I'm gonna turn my scissors again into that crack. See that? Can you guys see? Right there into that crack. And now I'm gonna go up and out of the tail. Now, another tricky part. Another tricky part, but I know you guys can do it. Here we go. I'm gonna go into the tail where the tail meets the body. And I'm gonna go very slowly. Look how slow and small my snips are. Very slow, I'm being very patient. And I'm turning, putting that on there. Now, I have my spout. Now, once again, you could try to cut that out. It kinda looks like a broccoli on top of there. Or there's a line that you can go up around it. I'm gonna go up around it. There you go, up and around. You guys see that? Up and around. Now, I'm gonna finish my little whale's mouth. There's his nose. And now, look how I snipped to where the lines came together. You guys see that? And now I'm gonna come out here and make one last little snip. There's my whale. There's my whale. Now, I can take my popsicle stick, my craft stick, and I'm gonna put some glue on it. So, I hope you have your glue handy. Let's pop off the lid and let's put it right on our craft stick. We're gonna put it right on our craft stick. Goopy, goopy, goopy. Mrs. Bose is gonna turn that nice and goopy on the end. Do you see that? Now I'm gonna come down to the back of my whale and I'm gonna put that goopy part right there. Right there. Now I don't want to glue my whale because I don't want it to stick to the waves that it goes up and down in, right? So I'm only going to put it on the stick and then I'm going to put it onto the whale. So there's my whale. This type of whale, I'm not sure, but I don't think he has teeth like a killer whale does. I think he used the big scoop method to eat. All right, next, let's do our waves. Now, you at home can either tape this or you can staple it. Mrs. Bose is going to use her stapler. I'm going to use my stapler and I'm just going to staple on the sides here. Just like this. Here we go. I've got my plate edges together so that you can see the waves. I'm going to staple there. I'm going to staple There, I'm not gonna staple in the middle because that's where my whale's going to sit. Now I'm gonna come to this side and I'm gonna staple here and I'm gonna staple there. Now, these look like the white waves when the waves are crashing. This looks like a pretty violent sea that this whale is swimming in. And now I'm gonna open it up Open it up and tuck my whale down in. Here he comes. He's in the sea. He's swimming. He's looking for some food. There he is. That is your project today. All about whales. All about whales in the ocean. I hope you had a really good time making that. Hmm. Maybe next time we're together, you can tell me what you learned about whales. Remember, they use their blowholes kind of like our nose. They take in the air that way. Fish have gills, little lines on the side, and they can breathe underwater, but whales have to come to the top. They take a breath out in their little blowhole, and then they can go back down under the water. There we go. All right, I will talk to you soon. Have a great rest of the day.